Eagle Lake can be a fickle mistress, but lately she's been a downright bitch. going crazy as is usual on a long musky trip. I am on this trip with Mr. Ben Stone here in the back. Ben Stone Fishing is his, uh, you know, YouTube, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Uh, up in the front taking his bibs off, Trevor Allen, Chaos Tackle, Trophy Time Leaders and Lures. We are out here, uh, like I said, slowly going crazy, trying to catch muskies. We've had everything on this trip. We've had a day where we saw 35 fish. We've had a day where we got a 48 and three quarters and a 50, but we've also had days where we hardly saw any and didn't catch any. So we're running the gamut with all the musky fishing emotions on this one. But uh, we're on our last two days. Today's Thursday, we've got Friday still. It should be warming up today. We had a cold front yesterday. Our water temps are in the low 60s. So hopefully we can get some of these fish going today. There's one. Dude, what the f Are you fucking kidding me? How the f did he not eat? Dude, he came in so f hot. Like seriously screamed into it, like full blast into the turn and then just coasted away. 43, 44. Oh, big fish, big fish, big yeah? fish, big fish, big fish. Giant. Yeah, dude, that is the biggest fish I've ever seen. Really? In my life. She's still there. She's super far down though. I wonder if that's the fish I marked back there, or just sideways. She's, she's on it, she's on it. Oh my god, dude. Dude. She's still on it? Yeah. Still following it. She's she's still coming. Dude, that's a giant fish. <laughs> Just eat it for the love of God. Still on it? She's still on it. Dude, what is this thing doing? Can you flop it around on top like a dead walleye? <laughs> oh, she's getting on it, dude. hands on the net. <laughs> He's still behind it. You see her? Yeah. Dude, I'm shaking so much right now. <laughs> Dude, I've never shaken this much from a fall.
a big he fish. He had the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he ate it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, couldn't have uh, had a better intro for what has transpired today. <laughs> uh, it is so frustrating, especially when you've been going that many days without something like that happening, and all of a sudden that giant fish that you really, really want to catch hits right next to the boat and just doesn't stick. Ah. I almost wish it would have came into the eight so I could have set the hook back into it. It was. I was still coming in and uh, just, I don't know, a fish with a mouth that big that it entirely engulfs a little bucktail and you just can't get hooks into it. It just blows my mind every time it happens, but <sighs> we just have to get out there and keep casting. We've fished a bunch of weed spots so far. We're going to go check out some rock spots now and uh, see if we can't be luckier doing that. Oh, there's one. wasn't giant. It was over 40. All right, ladies and gents, we are back out for the afternoon. We're going to see if the muskies want to behave a little bit better now than they did this morning. We still have great conditions. We've got a little bit of a breeze blowing. Uh, water temp should be warming up. It's been sunny all day. We've got a few clouds in the sky. It should be good. We're the day before the full moon, so we've got everything working in our favor. And uh, other than muskies are just jerks most of the time. So we're going to see if we can get one to behave here and uh, put one of these suckers in the net for you. Just any kind of fish? Hey, don't think we specified. There's one. Oh, he's hot, man. Turn. How big then? Uh, 43. Okay, looks bigger back How here. How does he but... want to eat? Like, he wants to eat. Got him! Got him. Where are we going? I don't know. I okay. don't think she's. I don't think she's hooked very good. Okay. That is the first time I've ever cast a back onto a fish. Yeah, yeah. In fact, dude, I'm actually not sure this is the same fish. Ah, oh, maybe it is. There we go, buddy. Nice job. Freak nice. Yeah. Can you put us on spot lock? I don't know, dude. I don't know if this is the same fish. Yeah. That was sick, though. Yeah. yeah. See how hard I was ripping that, and then she just freaking smacked it. Heck yeah, dude. There we go. There we go. Put the lucky shirt back on. Yep. We've seen a few today. We've had a few chances. I raised this fish up on a top line dive rise. Came in super hot and then it just coasted away, which has been the story of the trip is a lot of these fish come in and they leave. I cast it back to it, I worked the bait super, super aggressively, was ripping it as hard as I possibly could. This fish smacked it. Feels really good to have a fish in the net, especially after just some of the luck we've had. We've had some unfortunate mishaps, especially today, Brian missed a really big fish, so it's good to get one in the net. Gonna get a look at her and get back to fishing, because there's probably more fish in this area that are ready to go. <clears throat> this is a nice fish. These Eagle Lake fish are super, super pretty. Just an epic fish. I am gonna get a bump on her just to see how big she is. Oh, I was way off again. Well, I guess not really. 44? Yep, yeah, just a shade over 44. <clears throat> There's definitely bigger fish in the lake, but like I said, with some of the action we've had, it's good to get a fish like this in the net, so we will get her back. I can't see how pretty these fish are. It's absolutely insane. She's already tensing up on me. These fish 
fish are just super pretty, super gray, super pale. There she goes. It's been an epic day though. Feels good to get that fish in the net. I started this morning off by seeing one of the biggest muskies I've had behind my lure. So you never know what you're gonna run into on Eagle, that's for sure. So nice to see a fish like that kicking away and it's nice knowing that there's more fish in this area. So let's get back to fishing. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. The tail just came out of the water. Had it. I didn't hit it hard, but what's that? Right. had it and was like just barely had a hook I think and was swimming sideways with it. it wow well you know I always joke about driving the boat to the middle of the lake pulling the plug and just swimming ashore and just let everything sink We're real close right now <laughs> uh, after losing that big one this morning I finally had a big fish wake on a topwater bait and it tried eating it just not very well uh, I waited for the weight I feel like I did everything right, it just did not have hooks into it. Ben has had a couple fish going on top water, so we've got a little spot that seems to be holding a lot of fish. So we are just going to camp out here for the last hour. This is this is the power hour update, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get one of these things to go and try really hard not to suck and miss it. We're gonna stop the video here, but what happens in the next hour is nothing short of musky magic, musky miracle, whatever other alliteration with musky you want to call it. It is an hour of some of the most amazing fishing I've had. And it's all top water fishing. It's, it's so cool. We get four fish. We each get at least one. And Ben gets an absolutely amazing eagle lake giant. So you are not going to want to miss the next video. It is so cool. But that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed us struggling a little bit on Eagle Lake. Uh, that's just how it goes out there. But uh, like I said, we, we get rewarded for our perseverance and can't wait to show you guys. So with that, I appreciate you watching this mess and I'll see you on the next video.